if we're getting married right now, or I'm leaving, I'm out. I'm done. Like, if you don't marry me this second, I'm done. Welcome to God Level. Your access has been granted. Yo, yo, what's good? It's your mans. Jay Netta, hell of a editor, Ron Predator. Shout out to all the new scribers who decided to join us on our way to 100K. I appreciate you. We gonna get right into it on the menu today. We got wise words from Just Pearly, followed by something that's really funny. A couple, a woman actually runs up on her boyfriend in Target and kind of doesn't propose to him, but she kind of demands that he marries her. Like, like you, you, you'll see what I mean. The quality of your life is directly dictated by the women you choose to entertain. Message! Mm. If you entertain bullshit, toxic women, your life is going to be a toxic waste. Your life is going to be a, a hellhole. If you entertain right. women filled with drama, you're going to live a drama-filled life. If you entertain peaceful, healthy, positive women, they're going to pour into you and you're going to grow. <laughs> On some positive shit. Right. Stop entertaining bullshit women. At this point in my life, I don't even fuck them no more. If I see some bullshit, sense of bullshit, I'm cool. I jack off before I fuck with a, a, a toxic Right. Right. Peace of mind is everything. Peace of mind is everything. Avoid all the toxicity at all cost. Um, make sure you pay attention to red flags. Make sure you ask questions. And also make sure you give grace. Really, nigga? Because not everybody's like this. Not everything is a red flag. Even if it seems like it's a red flag. There's such a thing called the base personality. So once you learn their base personality, then begin to look for red flags. I would jack off, bro. If I sent some <laughs> chickens on that bullshit... And again, I'm good at this shit. At, at, you know, by this point, I could first conversation. I can tell what's up. I'm done. I'm cool. I want to. I don't care how fine you is. Mm -hmm. If you're 300 pounds, you're below a five. Ooh. That's oh, your opinion, so though. That's I, your opinion. I, I mean, it's, it's that's like, your opinion. Okay. You hear the hit dogs hollering. Okay, but it's based <laughs> off of reality, which women don't like to live in. <laughs> because even right. this is like not reality and you, and you know it on some level because you know if you walk into a bar with Lizzo you guys are all going to get more attention than Lizzo like do you not necessarily, do you yeah, do you not necessarily like if you're looking for exceptions it's not the rule like I'm you could take you could take you could take dating app data where we like let's like put your profile in Lizzo's profile who's going to get more attention it's going to be mm -hmm. you we could go to into a modeling con a modeling agency and say who are they going to sign you or Lizzo in general unless you do that Victoria's Secret to, like you know it the new the new body for. She's basically saying, like, shout out to Just Pearly. She's basically saying that there's beauty standards. I don't know why that why people have an issue with that. There's beauty standards that exist. Like we you can respect them on a basic level, like where you need to get your hair done, this, that, and the third, but you don't respect it when it comes to your weight. Like, come on. There's beauty standards. It is what it is. I Positivity it type yeah. shit. I know, again, again, exceptions. But whenever you go anywhere where there's like an objective standard of beauty, where like people are find this the most attractive in general, you're, you guys are all prettier than Lizzo. If you, but, survey, but, if you survey, if you survey men and women as a when, whole, and you, if you survey yeah. men and women as a whole in general, in most societies, they, in London, put, and they put in, in most, in most, in most societies throughout the world, everywhere, every, I guarantee, like just, okay. just based that way. Let me, let me finish. Uh, in most societies throughout the world, everywhere, if we put a picture of you guys and a picture of Lizzo, if you ask most guys and most girls, they would find you more attractive. In West Africa, and except, no. yeah, they, they always. This is what this is what girls do. Like, so I've been doing this a couple months. It's not you personally, <laughs> but like, like this is what do, they'll do. They'll bring up the one exception in that one society in the, in West Africa. Like, and I'm gonna expound on that real, very briefly, very briefly. She said they like to women when you're arguing with some women, they like to harp on the exception. They like to harp on the exception. If you say most people like the color blue. Well, there's a few people I know that like the color red, so that's not true. Stop right there. Shut up! I said most people like the color blue. We're not talking about the exception. Back to back to regularly scheduled programming. Yeah, you're right. There's one society in West Africa where that is the exception. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But everywhere else, that mm -hmm. is the but rule. For you to say, right. like, mm -hmm. oh, like, 
I, I'm not going to mm-hmm. comment on Lizzo, but mm-hmm. for you to say that so definitively that mm-hmm. if you're over this, you're that, mm-hmm. I think that's what people have a hard time dealing with. And mm-hmm. on top of that, it's like, we connect that. What's that five mean? Okay. Is that, Do is you that think... I feel like he he's giving me a little bit of beta vibes. I'm going to keep it real. Do you think in most of human history, okay, well, there probably wasn't even women over 300 pounds <laughs> in most of human history, <laughs> but since since the development of like obesity... Has obesity ever been desired, by and large, by men? By and large. I, I can't comment by, on by, I can't like, comment. I don't know. Like, come on, just with your common sense. Uh, just, sorry, just with your common with, sense. I mean, with my common sense, I want to say no, but that's, that's okay. from my point. Exactly. With your common sense, you want to say no. Like, let's just keep it real. There are beauty standards. Before we get into the last and final video, there are beauty standards. Now, let's get to the proposal and target. And it's time to do it we're getting married right now, or I'm leaving, I'm out. I'm done. Like, if you don't marry me this second, I brought the pastor. I brought Emily. <laughs> she brought the pastor. I gotta bring that back real quick. She brought the pastor, yo. Like, are you, are you? <laughs> yeah, we're getting married right now, or I'm leaving, I'm out. I'm done. Like, if you don't marry me this second, I brought the pastor. Hi guys. I'm just finally making him commit, you know? <laughs> like wow. we're getting married now or like it's over. Like she came down to your job. So I'm pretty sure y'all spoke about it at home. But what makes you go down to his job to try to put the pressure on him? What 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 was the logic in that? I don't even I don't I don't get that like do it. Yeah, I'm talking about this outside. Oh, shaking. Yeah. <laughs> and then she brought the pastor. <laughs> Alright, so that was the end of the video. Listen, she love you, so she's showing she love you. I would have rather my woman not run up on me in a target at, at my job. Run up on me like if you're going to do that at a more romantic place, if you're going to do that. That being said, shout out to all the new subscribers. If you haven't done so, hit the subscription button, notification bell, all notifications. So you're notified immediately when the God drops new science. And always remember, our level is God level. Y'all level is our level. Get on our level, you God level.